If you don't have a block, remember you can use a book, a brick, get creative, and let's get moving. I'm giving you gentle and power options, you just do what feels right for you today. Let's get feeling amazing. Find in your perfect form your center. Connect your shoulders. Take a deep breath in as your lungs fill up. And strong exhale. Let's go again. Deep breath in, filling your lungs. And deep exhale. Let's see what our spine is doing today as we roll it down. Take a deep core breath at the bottom. Connect your core. Let's slowly roll it up. Stack your spine, pull your shoulders back, chin up, last inhale, exhale, tuck to, roll it down. Nice deep core breath at the bottom. And slowly pulling your body up. One more deep breath. Exhale, let's roll. And staying here, warming up your legs. We inhale, bend and stretch. Breathe two and stretch and three. Stretch, breathe four and stretch, breathe five and six, breathe four, seven, one more to go, eight, slowly feel it up, lift your right arm, open up that side line and stretch, inhale, come back, reaching up and over, stretch, inhale, come back, two more, each way, reach, inhale, back, Exhale, side. One more, reaching over and add a gentle pass up for five and four and three. Breathe two and one. Lovely, up and over, pass up five and four and three. Breathe two and one. Come back to center, big arm circles. One, keep your chin centered, shoulders down. Nice loops, three. Deep breath, four, and breathe, five, one more, breathe, six, out of the way, circle around, one, breathe out, two, deep breath, three, exhale, four, breathe, four, five, and six, interlace hands behind you and give me a stretch of your chest, your shoulders, the front of the neck for two breaths. One more deep breath. Relax your arms, rolling down again, bending and stretching, deeper bend. Nice big stretch out. Inhale, deep bend. Stretch and three. And stretch, inhale, four. And stretch, one more, breathe, five. And hold it here for me for three, for two, and one, rolling up. Let's get onto the back of the mat. And show me your downward dog position. Keep the knees bent. Focus on that length through your spine. So get that lovely activation from the tip of your head to your tailbone. Ears and arms in line. Let's go for that walk out. Breathe out to swap. Again, let's move two. Breathe out to swap. Keep going for three. Exhale, swap. Breathe for four. Exhale, swap one more, breathe five, and swap, and give it a deeper stretch out. Three, two, one, drop your knees down on the floor, slide your hands under shoulders, lengthen out your neck and spine, and let's see what is our spine doing today. Connect into your core. Inhale as you move through that body, find that lumbar release. Three more, breathe out, using this to wake up the core, the pelvic floor. And slowly releasing up, two more. Breathe out as we tuck and curl the body. And slowly into a release for one more. Breathe out, give me a curl and hold for three, two, one. Good, back into your center. From here, lift your back hand up. Follow your fingertips up to the ceiling. Chest opens. Thread your arm through. Let's get into our upper spine, our neck, our shoulders. Let's go reaching your hand up. And threading your hand through to glide forward. Let's move for two more. Keeping that core activated. Keep it strong. One more to reach. 
and stretch and give me a hold if you can. Get your head on the ground, check you can lift the lower with ease, no pressure on the neck. If you want to go that step further, lift that other hand above your head and just take three breaths here. And two deep breaths. And one more deep breath. Lift, lift, swap, other side. Back onto your hands and knees. Open your chest up, reach your hand up. Thread your arm through, bend in that elbow as you glide. Three more, inhaling up. And breathe out to reach. Two, inhale, lifting up. And breathe out to reach for one more. Inhale, let's lift. And check that you can get your head comfortably down with that pressure on the neck. If you want to go that step further, hand moves above you. And just hold for three. Hold two. Hold one as we bring the body back. Toes move together. Knees move apart. Set your bums down. And lengthen up those fingertips in front. Stretch out shoulders. Stretch out spine. Enjoy that reach for three breaths. And two deep breaths. And one. As you walk your hands over to one side, let's get that stretch and hold. Two and one. Beautiful other side. And give me a hold. Two. And one, bring it to center. Hello, Joe. Onto your forearms. Now, for the gentle option, you're going to keep your knees on the ground and we're going to move into a knee plank. For gentle work, you're just going to stand your knees as you glide back and then tilting to come forward. If you feel you can advance, we're going to lift the legs up. Show me that plank position. Tilt your pubic bone towards your belly button. And we inhale as you pull your hips back. Breathe out as we lower to plank. All together, let's get moving. Inhale as we lengthen through your spine, tailbone to the roof. Breathe out as you lower, check where your neck, your shoulders, your lower spine go to. Let's go for two. And breathe out. I don't want anyone feeling too much pressure on their neck or the shoulders. And three, if your lower back's feeling a little bit tight, rather stand your knees for this. Inhale, lift four. Breathe out to lower. Keep going four more. We glide back. I'm just showing both options. Watching that back does not collapse for three. Inhale, pull. Breathe out as we lower forward. Two, inhale, let's pull those hips back. And breathe out forward, last time. Inhale, pull your hips back. And breathe out and hold for five counts. Option A, option B, four. And three, excellent. Breathe two, deep breath for one. Yes, lower your knees down. I want you to scoop your body up. Take a big step forward with that front leg. Toes in front of knees. Arms down next to you, align your hips and breathe out as we lower their pelvis. Glide your fingertips through the roof. Inhale, draw in the back for two. Breathe out if anyone's lower back needs you to tilt forward rather. Totally go there. Do what feels good for the lumbar spine. But if you feel you can offer that upper spine release without compromising the lower back, go there. Two more, we are opening up our psoas, the inner core, those hip flexors. One more, and stay for five deep breaths. Holding four, holding three, breathe out. Two, exhale, one, stand in, other side, big step forward. Check your hips on line, check your toes on front of knees, and let's go, breathe out as we lower. Inhale to come back. Two, if you need to go for that forward tilt, that's absolutely fine. You listen to your lower spine. Breathe out for three. Inhale, come back. Two more. Exhale for four. And let's come back. Breathe out and hold it here for five and four. And three, breathe out for two. 
Exhale, one. Beautiful. Back onto your hands and knees. Toes dig in. Lift your hips up. Go a bit deeper into your downward dog. Stretch. And just enjoy for two breaths. And one more deep breath. Walk your hands back towards your feet. Soft knees. Take your time to roll it up. And let's get into the fun stuff. All right. Grabbing hold of your block. Or if you're working with a book or a brick, you can cover that with a towel. And let's get this placed underneath your left foot. So for the first set, I actually want you to focus on that kneecap, not letting it wobble side to side. All right, you want to ground that foot into the block. I want that other leg directly underneath you. And I want your arms in a low V, palms facing forward. And give me that beautiful upper back connection from the start. We breathe out as we grow tall. Glide those arms out to the side. Imagine I'm pulling your fingertips opposite direction so we really get that length. Inhale, lower down. Again, squeeze into your thighs, into your bum and your core all at the same time. Inhale, lower. Let's get those feet, ankles, knees, hips all strong. And we come back. Four, lengthening up. Give me activation in your shoulder blades. Beautiful form. Breathe out to lift up. And we come down. Five more. Exhale, lift. And lower four. Breathe out to lift. And lower for three. Exhale, gliding up. And lower down for two. Breathe out to lift. Now find your balance with me, keeping your legs straight without locking that kneecap. We're going to float our arms and foot forward. I don't want you to allow that body to tilt back. So keep that strong connection. Lower that foot, arms open out. Breathe out as you glide it forward. Keeping that chin placed beautifully. Check those shoulders are not lifting up. Keep them anchored down for three. It doesn't have to be a big move at all. Stay in a range that you can control. And let's open. Breathe out, glide forward. Inhale, open out. Exhale for five more. And we open. Breathe out for four. I'm hoping that standing leg said, hello, I'm working. And let's go three. Inhale, out. Exhale for two. Keep lifting out of those hips. Lengthen your spine. And breathe one if you want to rest. Have a recovery if you can. Join me for a power option. Arms and legs. Ten. And nine. Little moves. And eight. Add your pant. And breathe. Five. And four. Three. And two. And one. Relax. Boom. One side. Wide awake. Let's see what the other side is doing. Very nice. Same arms for me, please. Palms facing forward, upper back connecting automatically, and we grow tall on this right side. Inhale, come down. And I want you building that body awareness. What is your ankle wanting to do? The kneecap, the hip. Often we have an instability in one of those areas, and that is what this work is for, to really get in tune, get connected, so we strengthen those smaller muscles around those joints. Breathe out to lift, and we want that strength to prevent injury. Five to go, lift up tall, not letting those kneecaps wobble side to side. Four more every time you lift, I'm hoping you are connecting in core. Three, exhale, lift up, and we come down, lovely, breathe out for two, and come back down. Exhale, lift. Are we ready? Find your balance for me. And let's hold it here. Remember, knees stay straight. And from here, floating arms, floating legs forward. Be really strict with your form. And out. Breathe out for two. Inhale back. You're not letting that body tilt. Exhale three. Keeping that balance really strong. Breathe out for four. And every session that goes by, you feel the stability improving. Five. Inhale back. Breathe 
out six. Inhale, open out. Exhale, seven. And open out, breathe out for eight. Inhale, lower, exhale for nine. Are we ready? Shall we hold it in the front? If you want to rest yet, you do that. If you pulse with me, let's go. And two, breathe, three. Exhale, four, breathe, five. Small moves at six and seven. Breathe, eight and nine. One more, breathe, ten and relax. Yes. Now we check the strength with the knee staying slightly bent. So you'll notice different areas activating when that leg is straight and when that leg is bent. I need you strong in both sides or both types. All right, so back to that original side. Knee's going to stay bent, but make sure you're not too deep that you're hurting your kneecap. Find that good spot here. From here, we'll have arms into the body. Palms facing in, watch your shoulders don't roll forward. And hover that leg in the air. If it gets too much on balance, you can keep the tip of your toes on the ground. Up to you. Now from here, we're gliding your leg out together with arms up, but palms facing down. Toes and kneecaps facing forward. Don't let that turn out happen. Inhale, drawing it back. Again, breathe out, lengthening through each vertebra. So you are showing me that incredible core strength. That upper body is not allowed to tilt to the side. Those hips are not allowed to have their own body. Keep them anchored. As you lift, squeeze that bum, the outer thigh, your standing leg, thigh, hamstring, all of that's working. Breathing out. Show me that shoulder and neck control. Exhale, lift. And we come down. I want four more. Lift. And come down for three. Breathing out. Inhale for two. Exhale to lift. Now, if you want a gentle option, I want you to relax after this rip. If you feel you can progress and challenge yourself. Arms and leg, let's circle. One, two without falling over. Three and four. Breathe. Five and six and seven. Whoa, have a standing leg. And nine and ten. Other way for one and two. Breathe three, exhale four, breathe out five, exhale six and seven. Breathe four, eight, exhale nine and one more, ten and whoa, that standing leg should be cooking. I know for me, even the foot is working, so the underneath of your feet, that fascia area is getting strong. All right, shall we see what this side's doing? I love this work. I hope you love it as much as me. All right, hovering that leg. If you need help, help with balance, remember, toes can stay on the ground. Let's go, gliding it out. And I want toes, kneecap forward. Don't let that turn out happen. Inhale, drawing it back. Remembering our focus is keeping that upper body centered. Try not let your body tilt. Try not let those hips sink or tilt. Breathe out as we lift. Inhale, draw it in. Four. Breathe out. Long arm through these arms. Keep that energy in that body. Five. Breathe out that kneecap. Staying really strong and still. Five more to lift. And let's lower four. Breathe out to lift. And for three, exhale, let's lift. Lower for two. Breathe out to lift. Lower for one. If this is like where you stop, take a moment and rest. Option to progress, 10 and nine. Keep your control and seven. Breathe out, six and five and four and three. Good, and two. And one, reverse for 10 and nine. Breathe eight and seven. Breathe out six and five. Exhale four, exhale three. And two, last time for one, relax. Amazing. And now I know those legs are wide awake. Now, for the next set, the block is there to add a little bit of spice to it, but it's not compulsory. So. If it feels a little bit too
too much for you, work with your foot on the mat rather. I want your back foot up on the mat or on the block. This front foot's going to take a big step forward. And before you get moving, please be strict. I need toes, knees, and hip bone all facing forward. Do not let that turnout happen, otherwise you can hurt that knee. No go for me. Hook your shoulder blades together, long line with those arms. And from here, we're going to go into a forward tilt. Have a quick look at my form here. My knee and ankles in line. Don't let that knee be over the toes. I'm opening the hip flexor. My back heel is lowering down. So there's almost that stretch straight down from my tailbone to my head. And let's look back. Again, we lower down. Be really strict with your kneecap in the front. I want to in line with the middle toe and behind the toes. And we come back. And listening to your body, don't go too deep that you feel you are straining your lower back or your knees. Breathe out, we lower down. And through the set, those back of those arms, shoulder blades stay strong, let's lower. And come back. Four more, feeling this power in the front leg, thigh, hamstring, bum. Three, breathe out, lower. I love this because we dual action, opening hip flexor and stretching calf while strengthening this front. Two, breathe out, get down. Now, option A for the gentle work. You're just going to stay in this position. For the advance, we're going to pulse and add our arm back. Ten and nine. Squeeze. Eight and seven. Breathe out. Six and five. And four, and three, and two, last time for one, and swap. Amazing. You should be feeling that front leg getting that work out. Other side, strict, strict placement, toes, knees, hips, all facing forward. Connect your upper body again, and let's get down into your forward tilt. Inhale, we come back. Every time, check in where that knee is that's behind your toes, in line with the middle toe, and come back. Three, giving me that beautiful activation through your arms, your upper back. Four, exhale, lower. Inhale, come back. And I'm hoping it's natural for you that every time you're tilting, that core is saying, hello, I'm working with you. Five more, getting down. And four. Breathe out to lower. And for three, exhale, lower down. Inhale, two. Breathe out to lower. And last time, one more. Exhale, lower. Option A, gentle stay. Option B, arms and leg pass. And two, and three. Breathe, four. Exhale, five. And six, and seven. Breathe, eight. And nine, one more, and ten, and relax. Amazing. It is alignment and stability time. I want you to please place that foam block underneath your front leg. You'll keep your toes digging in. I want your hands under your shoulders for me. And from here, we're going to place, I'm just going to slide a bit closer into the center of the mat. From here, please make sure you're not over the wrist or back into your hips. Knee directly underneath you. Okay. From there, we're going to lift that opposite hand out to the side. Gentle option, your feet stay exactly in this position. For advance, you're going to join me with that lift up. All right, let's lower the hands. If you work with legs, legs down. Breathe out as we lift in up. Focus on alignment. Let's think of that neck and that spine staying completely lengthened out. Most importantly, those hips are not allowed to tilt. Don't sink into your standing side. Keeping your weight off the wrist. You want your body weight here in the middle, not over the wrist or into your hips. Five more. Squeeze your bum and belly at the same time. Inhale, four. Exhale, two, lift. Inhale, lower three. Exhale, two, lift. Inhale, lower two. Exhale, two, lift. Last time, breathe for one. And option A, your foot on the ground. Option B, legs staying up. But for everyone, lift your toes that are digging into the ground and hold for ten. Nine, find your core. Eight, seven, breathe. Six, and five. And four, and three, good, and two, 
and one, relax. Amazing. I'm turning around just so you can keep an eye on my form. Remember, keeping your body weight in the middle here. Yeah. I want your toes digging in, front arm to the side. Check where your knee, where your arms are. And if you're working gentle, that foot stays down. If you advance, we're lifting it up. Let's go for 10. And lift. Inhale, lower nine. Breathe out. Inhale, eight. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower seven. Exhale, lift. Keep checking with your neck, your shoulders, back. Hips are setting. We have six more. And lift. Inhale, five. And lift. Inhale, four, four. And lift. Inhale, three. And lift up. Inhale, two. And lift last time for one. And from here, gentle option, toes on the ground, but lift your block, toes off, and advance, legs in the air, 10, 9, 8, keep your core strong, 7, breathe out, 6, and 5, and 4, and 3, and 2, good, and 1, relax, amazing stuff. All right, let's see what is that core doing. Joe, you comfortable here? All right, let's get those feet hip distance apart. And remember, your back arms feel tight, soften these knees. I want your blocks or books in your hands. Lengthen through the body here. Connect your core. And let's go into your forward reach. If you happen to get your blocks over your toes like this, you can actually pull your toes back with the block. Make it a little bit deeper for you. Hold for two breaths. Holding for one more breath. Now show me that incredible posture as you lift up tall. Anchor your hips, give me a rotation to the back. Inhale, center. Rotating to the front. And come back. I want you to curl just beyond halfway if your lower back's tired. Stay a little bit small in the range. And just hold it here for three. Hold two. Now power in your lower abs, lifting up. Connect your core and going deeper into your stretch. Check your shoulders are not lifting to your ears. And lifting in your spine. Rotating to the back. Inhale, center. Breathe out, rotate front. And let's curl, either going halfway or a little bit beyond. And check your chin, your neck, your shoulders. Zip your belly to your spine. And give me two more ribs. Deepen your stretch. Every time, going a little bit further. Amazing and growing really tall. Course of strength improving each set. Inhale, come back. Other way, rotating. And back, give me a curl down and hold it here. Taking a strong breath. And two, power in your core. Lift up and forward, stretch. Check your shoulders. Good, and stacking your spine, rotating to the back and center. Rotate to the front, now we're gonna hold it here. Going to where your spine feels comfortable, so either half. If you can push, let's go a little more. And from here, you can pull that block to you. Elbows can go a little wider, just watch you not shrugging. And stretch, let's go. Two, listen to your lower spine. And three, watch your neck and shoulder line. Breathe four, and stretch, and five, and stretch. Breathe six, and stretch, and seven, and stretch. Breathe eight, and stretch, and nine, and one, two, go. Breathe ten, lifting up, drop your block, bring your feet together, hold your shin, and into your curl of your spine. And grow nice and tall, lift, 
Breathe out as we curl the spine. And grow tall in that body. Three, breathe out, curl. And let's lift up tall. One more to curl. And lift up, keeping that back flat. Move into your forward bend and stretch those hips out. Remember, we're trying to get you out of this very comfy zone. Sit out of your shoulders. Stick your bum out so we can really work that mobility in the back as well. Give me another deep breath. Beautiful. And from here, stretch your back foot. Take this front leg, cross it over. Wrap your hand around your knee and get out of that very schlumpy lower back. Let's lift up tall. Lengthen your fingertips in front. And let's do some placement work as you follow this hand as far back as possible. Inhale, drawing it to center. Now, you want to try to lift up through your vertebra, not allowing that body to collapse out. That is the strength I'm looking for. Two more. Breathe out as you place in your shoulder blade, opening this front where we store our phone and our computer detention. And let's open this up and just reach for three. And two. And one. Beautiful. Come back. And swap other side. Place that foot over. Hook your knee in. Check that lower back's lifting up. Float your hand forward. And let's go. Breathe out as you reach. Inhale, coming back. Good. To breathe out to reach. Inhale, come back for three. Exhale, let's reach. And draw in the back. One more. Breathe out, lift up tall, reach through your fingertips, hold three, hold two, hold one, good, as you come back, let's get you onto your backs, hug your knees deep into your chest, and let's see what is this lower spine doing today. We tilt our knees forward, find your neutral, breathe out, imprint, connect, Inhale to neutral spine. Breathe out, let's pull. Three deep breath in. Exhale to pull. One more. Inhale forward. And open your hips. Let's circle for three loops. And two. Deep breath out for one. Other way. Let's loop for three. Breathe out for two. Deep breath for one, knees and ankles touch. Squeeze your knees into the body and enjoy that lower back release. And for the rotation set, I'll give you two options. For the gentle options, please keep the feet on the ground, knees and ankles touching. If your lower back wants to go a little more, we lift our legs to dead back. And all together, we lower our legs towards the front. You look to the back, anchoring your shoulders down. With both options, use your core to bring your knees back. Don't use your lower back. Other way, breathe out as you lower, not letting your shoulders peel off the mat. And gently back. I'm demoing gentle option. Breathe out as you lower. Knees go one way, you look opposite. And we come back, other side. Breathe out to lower. Good. And this is it. Holding your third grip. Lower and maintain. Staying on the ground or in the air for two more breaths. For one more breath. And draw it back. Beautiful. Other side. And hold. Three. And two. Good. And one as you come back, hug your knee into your chest, flatten your spine and lengthen your other leg out. Check your neck, your shoulders are relaxed and pin back. Let's alternate, pull knee into body, lengthen leg. And breathe out, swap. So what you want to make sure you are doing is keeping that midsection of your body flat and still. You don't want to feel your lower back tilting in and out of the mat. That knee, that bend, you pull it deep into your chest so that psoas is triggering. You want to make sure the power is coming from the core and not from your thighs, definitely not from your lower back. 
Give me five more each way. Breathe out to swap. Let's go for four. Exhale to swap. Breathe for three. Exhale to swap. Good. Deep breath. Two. Exhale to swap. Last time. Breathe. One. Exhale to swap. Pull both knees into the body. And for your gentle option, lower your feet on the ground. Ankles and knees stay together. For the more advanced, keep your legs at dead bang. Hands behind your head. Open your elbows. And let's breathe out as we tilt into your abdominals. Inhale, lower your head. If it's too much on the back, keep your feet down. Breathe out too. And please remember, whenever we are doing curl work, you want to make sure you are activated through those lower abs. The belly zipping, those top blocks connect so that the pressure on the neck does not happen. Breathe out as you lift. If you're working with those legs up, be strict with your form. Feet and knees are lying near the hip in line. Give me four more as you curl. Watch you where your chin, neck and shoulders are. Breathe out for three. Inhale, let's lower. Breathe out for two. Inhale, come down. Exhale for one. If you want to rest, go for it. If you can, go a little more. Top blocks. Let's go. Shh. And two. Keep it small. And three. All we up. And four. Breathe out five. And six. Yes, breathe out seven. Breathe eight. And nine. One more. And ten. Relax. Feet together. Open your knees. Stretch your arms above your head. Stretching abs. Stretching shoulders. Stretching hips. Give me another deep core breath. And getting really excited for one of my all-time faves. Now, the block is optional. It feels a little bit of spice to the mix. But if it feels a little bit too much for your lower back, your hamstrings, foot stay on the floor. Now, if you are working with that block of book, place it underneath your front leg. I want this back leg up at 90. If your hamstrings tight, bend the knee. If you can stretch it, go there. And I want your arms in that V, palms facing up. Watch for this line. If the shoulders are forward like mine, actively pull them back. And let's go into your imprint. Option A for gentle, we just tilt in that sacrum. So just a little lift. If your back can go more, we're going to lift those hips up a bit higher. Checking your hips are not tilting. Now take your time as we massage the back into the ground. Back to neutral. Let's go again. Option A, we tilting. Option B, we lifting with both options. Look at your hips every single rep. Be really strict with your form for me. Three, breathe out. You want to feel your hamstrings, your bum, your core. Keeping your shoulders pinned back as you lower, not letting them tense forward. Imprinting, squeezing this up. We are working deep into that core of the hamstring, the bum. Even your lower back and belly is tightening up here. But in the correct way, we don't want to strain that back. Let's go three more. Squeeze. And slowly down two. Breathe out. Let's squeeze. And lower down for one. Now, gentle option. Stay there. If you can do more, we go deeper for little moves. And two, slow, three, and four, watch your spine. Five, watch your hips, and six, and seven. Breathe eight, and nine, one more, and ten. Lower down, and swap, yes. Let's go, foot onto the floor, onto the block. Front leg up at 90, either with a straight or bent leg. Check your arms and let's go to lift up. Remember, listen to your spine. Option A is a tilt. Option B is a full lift. And lower down. And I'm expecting you to really listen to your body every single time. Staying in that range that's safe but challenging. Four, we connect in the core, the 
above the hamstring. And let's lower five. Breathe out, squeeze it up. And lower down six. Imprint to squeeze up. And lower seven. Imprint, let's squeeze. And come back down eight. Lifting up, option A to hold. Option B, slow pass. And two, and three, and four, breathe five, and six, and seven, breathe four, eight, and nine, one more, and ten, lower the body down, and smooth your block out the way, hug your back knee in, stretch that front leg along, circle this leg around, massage your hip and back, and two, and three, excellent, breathe four, other way, let's go, one, and two, breathe three, and four, open your arm, lift your foot, and very gently take a knee across, and enjoy your stretch out, three, two, one, good, swap, other leg pulls into the body and loop around, circle around, massaging your bend back. And two, and three, and other way, let's go. And two, get three, anchoring your arm out, lift your foot, gently knee across and stretch. Two, and three, and four, good, and back to center. And let's turn onto our side. Taking your block or book, and I want you to place it in front of you for me. I want you to place your top knee in line with your hip. And for the gentle option, that foot can rest. But if you feel you can keep it hovering, let's stay there. Flex your underneath foot with a straight leg. Lift your ribs and belly and check that your hip bones are stacked. No tilting forward and no tilting back. Let's go adductor time as we lift that underneath leg, keeping this gap. Inhale, lower down. Breathe out. Let's lift that leg up. Inhale, lower. Good. Exhale for three. And lower down. Watching that knee doesn't bend. Push through your heel. Keep an eye on your line and toes and kneecaps stay forward. Don't let those feet rotate in or out. Remember, you want to stay strong in the core, keeping that belly and ribcage lifted. Give me four more. And down. Breathe out three. And down. Exhale two. Now from here, go up to your highest point and give me a little lift up for ten. And nine. And eight. And seven, breathe out six, and five, and four, and three, and two. If this is it for you, rest. If you can go a little more, let's go higher, tiny, faster. Ten, and nine, and eight, and seven, and six, and five, and four, and three, and two, and one. Relax. Rest your legs, scoop your top hand forward, and from here, give me that reach open, opening chest and shoulders, and join it back to center, lovely, to breathe out, to reach, good, and come back, three, let's breathe out, to reach, and coming back, one more, four, Open this up and just melt into the floor and enjoy for three and two and one as you come back to center. Let's turn it around. Adductor on the other side. Okay, place in that book or that block. You want your knee and hip, foot and knee line, stack your hips. Straight leg with a flex foot and lift your ribs and belly. Let's go squeeze in the inner thigh. Inhale, come down. Nice. Breathe out for two. Check in that knee doesn't bend. Push through your heel for three. And down. Exhale, four. And come down. Nice. Breathe out five. And lower. Exhale, six. And come down, breathe out for seven. 
and lower. Exhale, eight, and come down, breathe out for nine. Now holding this up on 10, let's go for 10, and nine, and eight, breathe, seven, deep breath, six, and five, and four, and three, and two, this is where you stop, do the same, if you pass, let's do it, 10, nine, eight, seven, and six, and five, and four, and three, and two, and one, relax, beautiful stuff, reach your hand forward, and open this up. Yes, inhale, coming back for two. Breathe out, open up and reach. Inhale as you come back for three. Breathe out, open this up and reach. And last one, deep breath. Open up and just relax here for three. And two. And one, beautiful. And let's get comfy on top of that block, on top of that book. And let's work these quads. Some of you know this one and I hope you love it as much as me. Yes. All right. This is one of the best exercises for any of you who have ever had knee issues, but also really important to prevent knee issues from ever happening. So I want you to pull that back leg in. Make your posture the priority. So can you see how easy it is to almost slouch in this position? That's illegal for today. I want you to lift up, connect your shoulders, center your chin. From there, we're going to squeeze your thigh and see if you can lift it without compromising the lower back. And come down. You might notice you can't even lift that leg without lowering the back. So that doesn't matter. Make your spine the priority. Let's squeeze and if you can lift with that, sink it into the back, go for it. And lower. Breathe out. Squeeze that thigh. Feel that quad. And down. Keep lifting tall to the ceiling. And come down. Watch your shoulders for me. Breathe out and lift. Inhale, lower. Good. Exhale, let lift. And come down. Exhale, squeeze. And lower. Breathe out to squeeze. Two to go. Exhale, lift. Now, can you hold it with me or squeeze and hold and maintain for five, four, three, two, and one. Relax. That should be like bone layer activation. Do you notice I even count faster for you? All right, let's lift up tall, guys. Squeeze, see if you can lift without compromising your lower back. Inhale, come down. You can pretend that I'm behind you, pushing your body up, not letting you collapse down. Exhale for three. You might notice one side is way stronger than the other. And let's go four. Inhale, come down. Breathe out for five. Inhale to lower, good, breathe out for six, and let's lower down, exhale for seven, and lower down, breathe out for eight, and down, exhale for nine, and this is it, can you hold, let's squeeze all five, four, three, two, and one, relax the knee. If it's not comfortable, if you are using a book and it's not the right size or shape, you can move it and use the mat just like comfortably on the mat. I want you to please wrap your hands over that back knee and breathe out as you pull the leg into the body. Inhale, release. Exhale, pull that leg into body. Inhale, release for one more. Now pull that knee deep into you. Flex your opposite foot, stretch along. And what's important to me is that you are getting this deep flexor release. And hold four, hold three, hold two, and one, slide your leg in. Ankle onto your thigh, and I want you to gently press that knee forward for option A. Option B, if you can, lift those legs a little bit closer and get that delicious 
button stretch. Hold five, hold four, hold three, good. And two, we're gonna swap legs out after one. Anchor the foot down at the back and pull that knee into body as you connect in your core. Inhale, release. I want you to be mindful of your shoulders. Often that will pull forward here. If that's the case for you, relax them. And let's open up your hip flexor. Pull your knee deep in. Stretch that other leg along the ground and enjoy five. Four, three, two, we slide your leg in after one. Your option A, open up your bum and hip. Option B, we move into that deeper stretch and enjoy. Four, three, two, and one. From here, open up knees, feet, and pull your legs up. I want you getting that deep flexor and SI joint stretch. If you feel you can actually lift your heels and give me a nice happy baby pose, go there. Melt your shoulder blades into the ground and just hold for two more breaths. For one more deep breath. And drop your feet down, removing your phone block. Hug your knees deep into your chest and please join me on your hands and let's do our last core set. Two options for you. For the gentle option, I want you staying on your knees. We move into a knee bridge where you'll glide your hips back and then dropping forward into this position. If you can progress, we in a full bridge and you'll move into your downward dog and forward into bridge. Are you ready? Eight reps. Let's go. Pulling your hips back and stretch. Breathe up. Feel your rib cage, belly button, transverse, thighs and bum. Inhale. Let's glide it back. And breathe out. Always placing your chin, neck, shoulders. Three. Inhale. Glide back. Breathe out as we lower down. Excellent. Four. Inhale, pull back. And breathe out to lower. I'm going to demo the gentle. Breathe for four more. And tilt if you're going to belly. Please make sure that lower back is not straining for three. Exhale. Let's lower. Inhale, pull back two. And breathe out for it. Last time, inhale, one. Now, stay in that bridge. Option A, knees down. Option B, knees up for five more breaths. And four. And three, good. And two, deep breath for one. Lower down and relax. Amazing. Grab your book, your block. I want your hands on top, feet and knees at distance, and glide your block forward. Bum is going to stay lifted. Let's curl into your body. And slide it forward and stretch. Again, slide into the body, curl. And forward and stretch. One more, we curl. And let's stretch it out and hold it here. Check your ears and arms are in line. Hold three. Hold two. Hold one. Placing the hand behind you. Slide your other hand across and stretch. Two and one. Other side. Let's go across and hold three. Two. And one, beautiful. On to hands and knees. Show me your beautiful downward dog stretch, lengthening your spine, lower the heels. And in your own time, very gently walking back, slowly bringing your spine up. And if you want to hold on to the wall or something close by, go for it. And let's pull this foot behind. 
stretching out your thigh. We work those quads today. Lift up in your core. Make sure there's no sinking or tilting in your hips or the back. Good, this leg that you have up behind, we cross it over, hip step forward, hands behind you, and give me that incredible hip and cue outside lower back area. Stretching it out, breathe out and stretch. Keeping your balance for me, tuck your chin, relax your arms without tippling forward, back, side to side. Go for the stretch out and hold. Slow and controlled, lifting it up. If you want to hold on to something for balance, go for it as you pull your foot back and stretch out your thigh. Connect your center. Good. Taking this foot that's behind, cross it over. Hands behind you and beautiful side stretch. Two and one, up and over, side stretch. Two and one, good. From here, relaxing and rolling down. No tippling forward, back side to side. And from here, roll your spine up, open feet if distance, interlace hands, and stretch our shoulders, chest, front of the neck. We curl our pelvis forward and stretch our shoulder blades. Lift your arms up, grab your wrist, pull up and over, stretch. Yes, inhale, up and over. Keeping your chin centered, shoulders down, six circles, one and two. Breathe three and four, breathe five and six, other way, one, breathe out, two and three, breathe four and five and six, tucking chin, soft knees, rolling down and going into your inhale, lift, you bend your knees, breathe out, stretch it out, inhale, bend knees, exhale to stretch, two more, inhale, and stretch one more bit and stretch and hold it here for four and three breathe two soften your knees zipping your core rolling your spine up as you lift that right arm take it into your reach to the side inhale back reach into the side good and back, let's shoulder roll, five, and four, and three, I bet you like freedom, and one other way, five, and four, and three, and two, let's see what that neck is feeling like, head to the side, and very gently, half circle, tension free, body feeling wonderfully balanced and core connected, that is my dream come true, right there, thank you. And let's see what is your spine doing as we roll down. At the bottom, I want you to nod your head. Yes, make it your jaw, neck, shoulders and spine feel rested and recovered. As you take a deep breath, let's stack our spine. Think of placing your vertebra beautifully. Connect your shoulder blades. Place your head perfectly. And let's go two breaths, filling this body with awesome energy. And deep exhale. Inhale, strong breathing. And deep exhale. And bring it to center. And well done, everyone. Thank you so much for making this time to get strong. From Joey, from Dell, from me. We just have so much gratitude and love for all of you. And mwah, keep taking care of yourselves. Thank you so much, guys.